Have you ever heard of a Bugatti model that is so exclusive that it gives off an air of mystery? Or a record that is so remarkable that it is rarely discussed outside of the realm of elite racing? From world record speeds to the most expensive car ever sold, I bet that you didn't know these things about Bugatti. As we speed into the heart of luxury and speed, we will uncover secrets that will amaze even the most devoted car enthusiasts. Come along with us until the very end as we uncover these hidden gems and more as we take you on a journey through the incredible legacy that Bugatti has left behind. Not only is this about automobiles, but it is also about the extraordinary accomplishments and untold stories that lie behind the Bugatti emblem. Ettore Bugatti, the man who founded Bugatti, was born into an artistic family in Milan, Italy in the year 1881. This is where the story of Bugatti actually begins. His father, Carlo Bugatti, was a well-known furniture and jewelry designer, and his brother, Rembrandt Bugatti, became famous for his accomplishments as an animal sculptor. This artistic background deeply influenced Ettore because he combined his passion for engineering with an eye for aesthetic elegance. Automobiles e Bugatti was established by Ettore Bugatti in 1909 in the city of Molsheim, although Molsheim was located in Germany at that time due to the historical annexation of Alsace-Lorraine, it later became part of France following World War I. From the very beginning, Bugatti automobiles were renowned for their exquisite design and superior technical capabilities. Particularly in the realm of racing, the early models, such as the Type 13, brought about successful and broad recognition almost immediately. In the 1920s and 1930s, Bugatti was at the height of its success particularly in the world of motor racing. Because of their superior engineering and low weight, Bugatti's automobiles were able to win every competition they entered. Over 2,000 races were won by the Type 35, which was one of the most successful models produced by Bugatti. These races included the French Grand Prix and the Targa Florio. With this racing pedigree, Bugatti solidified its reputation as a reliable and speedy automobile manufacturer. During this time period, Ettore Bugatti committed himself to a project of great magnitude, the development of the Bugatti Type 41, which is more commonly referred to as the Royale. Contrary to popular belief, the enormous, luxurious automobile was not powered by an airplane engine, but featured a massive 12.7-liter straight-8 engine, reminiscent of those used in aviation. This vehicle was designed to be used by the most wealthy people in the world. Nevertheless, as a result of the Great Depression, only six were constructed, and only three were purchased by customers. In spite of this, the Royale continues to be a representation of Bugatti's aspirations and exceptional craftsmanship. The automobiles manufactured by Bugatti are renowned for their unique designs, which frequently incorporate certain aspects of the Art Deco style. The aesthetics of the automobiles were a reflection of Ettore Bugatti's belief that nothing is too beautiful, nothing is too expensive. The result of this philosophy was the creation of some of the most technologically advanced and aesthetically stunning automobiles of their era. As an illustration, the Atlantic, which was first introduced in the 1930s, was one of the automobiles that was considered to be among the most visually striking automobiles ever constructed. It featured flowing coupe lines and a riveted spine. Due to the fact that only four Atlantics were ever produced, their allure and rarity are enhanced. The company entered a period of difficulty when John Bugatti, Ettore Bugatti's son, passed away in 1939. This event, along with the destruction caused by World War II, marked the beginning of this period. Bugatti had a difficult time regaining the glory it had enjoyed before the war. Despite several attempts at reviving its fortunes with projects like the Type 73 series and the Type 251 race car, the business struggled. In the 1950s, the original Bugatti company eventually went out of business despite its long history. Before the Volkswagen Group purchased the Bugatti brand in 1998, the brand had been dormant for much of its existence. This event marked the beginning of a new era, which ultimately resulted in the production of some of the most remarkable automobiles in the history of modern automobiles. The Veyron, a supercar that was introduced by Bugatti in 2005, was a vehicle that set new standards for both performance and luxury. An icon of automotive engineering, the Veyron achieved a top speed of more than 400 kilometers per hour and was powered by an engine that produced 1,000 horsepower. These limits were pushed even further by its successor, the Chiron, which was introduced in 2016. The specific top speeds of these models vary, with the Veyron Supersport version reaching 431 kilometers per hour, 
and the Chiron's top speed being electronically limited, varying across different models. They carry on Bugatti's tradition of speed and innovation. There are rumors and discussions about Bugatti's plans for hybrid or fully electric models, which are occurring at the same time that the automotive industry is currently moving toward electrification. A brand that is known for producing high-powered internal combustion engines would undergo a significant transformation if they were to take such a step. On the other hand, it also provides Bugatti with the chance to redefine luxury and performance in the era of electric vehicles. From its beginnings as an artistic endeavor to its current incarnation as a symbol of automotive excellence, the history of Bugatti is one that is characterized by passion, innovation, and perseverance. As the brand continues to push the boundaries of what is possible in the world of automobiles, Ettore Bugatti's vision of creating automobiles that are both aesthetically pleasing and technically advanced continues to be realized. Bugatti has maintained its position as a manufacturer of automobiles that are unlike any other. These automobiles are not merely means of transportation. Rather, they are works of art, symbols of speed, and assertions of human ingenuity and craftsmanship. Bugatti has been successful in both positive and negative circumstances. As the business continues to develop, it preserves a legacy that is equally as much about its illustrious history as it is about the bright future it has in store for itself.